Today I'm working on block 15 of the Riley Blake Designs 2022 block challenge. It's called Tilt Whirl and it's designed by Cindy Cloward. And like always, I'm going to make a couple little changes. For this block, I want to draw more attention to this center um, diamond ring here. And I want all of these corners to be uh, one color. I want it to be a solid dark background, mainly because I want this previous block to have a buddy. I only had to make a couple simple changes to make that happen. I only cut two E squares instead of six, and I cut four three and a half inch squares from a dark color, and they'll go in the corners of my block. I also drew diagonal lines on the back of C and E like normal, and I drew two lines on the back of my B squares so I can get some bonus half square triangles. I'm gonna start by matching up my D squares with my C and my E squares. I'm going to sew a quarter inch on both sides of this diagonal line. And then I'm going to use my A and B squares to get started on that center economy block. Quick editing note, um, I'm going to call this center motif an economy block a lot. It is not an economy block, it's actually a square and a square block. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was consistent. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's a square and a square. Keep that in mind as I fumble with my words. And remember, I drew two lines on the back of the B squares so that I can get a bonus half square triangle. And so I want this shorter line to be closer to the corner. So it should look like that. Two opposite corners, and then sew directly on these lines. And that's all I have to do for the first round of sewing. My economy block is half done. I have four DC units and four DE units. I'm going to arrange these like they're going to appear in the block before I move on to the next step. Okay, this is looking pretty rough, but I'm almost done. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my economy block. And then I'm going to pair up the half square triangles and the um, corner squares for the sides, like so. And then I'm going to pair these top and bottom ones up. So I'll sew along each of those edges, and then I'm so close. My economy block is done, and it is looking so very pink. Um, and now that it is done, I can move on to the next step. I'm going to sew the top and bottom units to the economy block, and then I'm going to sew the side units together. Then after all of that has been sewn, I will sew the side strips to the center strip. But you know the drill. Let's skip to the finished block. Block 15 is done and it was so simple. It was so fast. Just a couple sew and flip corners and some half square triangles and it worked up so quickly. I do like the changes that I made. I like the dark background. I think it makes the center motif really pop and come forward and it's a really interesting block. I think it'll look good in the quilt top. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!